Hello everybody. I wanted to do today, right now at 1 a.m., a little state of development kind of thing on where I am with uh, Strife RTX. So I've been working on... I realized that baking the textures for each bit of geometry was going to be untenable unless I wanted to basically make this game um, Call of Duty or whatever the me the meme is these days for a large game. Um, the folder for this was approaching 200 gigabytes in total, and that's just that's just not good. So what I started to do was basically. Um, develop a material here that looks fucking complicated and maybe it is maybe it is I, I, I don't know I don't know what other people do but basically what this uh, really complicated looking material does is you, you feed it you know a base a specular, a roughness, a normal, an AO, a metal, and an emissive map. And then it does some business, and I won't go through it all, to basically make a tiled texture out of a very simple texture. Now, this isn't all that robust. It, it works it works best on just flat surfaces like this. I still need to work some kinks out for like 45 degree and, and other arbitrary angle walls. But yeah, you just feed it something like this and it will automatically tile it. And then you get something like this. And yeah, there's repeating textures so it's, you know it's only as good as your uh, texture that you feed it is it's it's not going to do anything amazing to break up things because i wanted it to be uh, fairly universal so i could just feed it something and then uh, it will tile it see it, it kind of messes up on angles but uh, that's fine it and it also has another cool feature. The reason why you uh, feed it an ambient occlusion map is, um, well, first of all, Unreal Engine doesn't use the ambient occlusion map for anything but baked light maps, I believe. Um, it doesn't do anything with them for the real-time stuff. So I have a thing called Fancy Texture. If you uncheck that, this is this is what this texture looks like and you know some some textures look better when you basically multiply that with it so it kind of makes it look a little bit better uh for just you know a flat, flat piece of ground uh i guess you could also use that for like a comic book or more of a tune effect for some uh, materials which works pretty well. Uh, what else have I been working on? Um, trying to get water looking good. Here, uh, I can't look at the water right now without uh, the frame rate tanking. So let's put on DLSS so I can actually look at this water without it going nuts. So water is really friggin' hard. Uh, you know, this this version that I'm using of the engine has caustics. I've talked about that before. So you don't have to do any weird projection mapping or decals, decals, however you want to pronounce that. Um, it just makes caustics out of the normal of of the material. So it's it looks right, but there's an issue with it where it's uh, kind of screen space, kind of not screen space. It doesn't cull things in the depth correctly. So I found a 
console command here. Primary rays absorption force shading on opaque objects one. Once I enable that, it makes it look a little bit better because like if I were right here, let's um, actually let's grab that command real quick. So let's put that on zero. See what it does with the um, refraction gets all fucky. And no one wants that. So just put that on and it fixes it. Now you have nice looking water. You could see it's um, sparkling up there from uh, the caustics from uh, the sun. Hits that, boom, bounces off and goes up there. Um, that doesn't use the tile texture to, that uses its own material. Uh, this is another tile texture that I did. I'm basically going around and <laughs> doing that for everything that I've already done, but I have to remake the the base textures to make that work. Um, let's see, what else did I do? Um, I, I, I don't think I've really shown this map, uh, at least on YouTube and, and on um, Twitter, I, I, I kind of have. Um, but for this map, I also realized that, that there, there are... Um, like windows here, I deleted them and then I added my own windows. But in the original geometry of this, these windows are impossible windows. They don't make any sense. They don't go into a room. They, they, so I had to basically, uh, where is it? So if I disable the window, I just have a little cube back here that gets populated um, with a material, which is a cube map that is generated from where I placed this little camera guy. So he's looking here and he generates a cube map, you know, looking all the different directions. And then it projects it onto here. So you, you know, you get that cool effect that you see a lot of more new games using these days where it looks like there's like a room inside of um, a window when there's really not. And I think I think that works, you know, pretty good. I mean, you, you can't see it. This is overkill. <laughs> and I also did it for over here. I, I have to do um, over here. You know, I have to do each of these windows just, you know, for completeness sake. I like it. I, I think it, it gives a, you know, a nice little graphical effect that really no one's going to give a shit about, but I like it, so deal with it. Um, let's go back to the map we're all very, very familiar with. Yes, save it. So we got the map of one here. And we got the same thing. I'm using that same water material down here. I went and I... Uh, you, you have the ability uh, over here to debug the water, the photons, the caustics that get cast from them. So only these lights, uh, those two, this one in here, and I think that's all of them. Those are the only ones that cast water photons um, for the caustics. Uh, it's subtle, but it cuts down on perf uh, you know a performance hit. So not everything is trying to find the water and then cast off of it. Uh, I like the caustics. That's why I'm using this. It's a it's a cool effect. Um, but there are also mesh caustics, um, and I was like, why, why is there this? this light over here. Like, what is this from? And I was like going around disabling lights and I was like, oh, it's from this. We got this light over here, which goes over here and then bounces over here. And sure, you know, that that's, yes, that is physically correct. That is what that would do. 
So I'll keep it. But anyway, we got um, more tiled texture down here. And this cuts, this is going to cut gigabytes off of VRAM and hard disk space, doing this for every material. More tile texture, this is more tiled, the brick here. Got a cool effect, more caustics, you know, shining through the window. You got absorption going on, light absorption. Uh, that works pretty good. I, I And also, I was able to get a little performance back and put it back... It, uh, use the gained performance to pump up more ray, ray tracing things. So now we have um, two bounce uh, global illumination going on. Um, multiple bounce reflections. Uh, where is it? Multiple bounce reflections. Three bounces of reflections. Uh, and that helps a couple things where you would just end up seeing a void in... Um, the reflection like this i know this seems really simple you know a stupid little thing but because the way the normal is on this texture and other things it, it without having the multiple bounces it would just kind of look dull so going up to three helps it I'm almost done with this map. I'm going to always say that when I'm looking at this, but then I'm going to find more things that I need to, to fix. Yeah, uh, there is progress being made. Uh, it's, it's all a learning experience. Uh, what else we got? We got map two. We could show that, what I've done so far here. There you go. Yeah. Uh no, oh, I still I, I have to I have to fix the swamp texture. I deleted some things. Uh but yeah, we we got the the actual starting map of the game going on. Um Oh yeah, I also really, uh, re realized another thing when it comes to doing textures. Um, I just want to go in here real quick. Um, basically, you want everything to be um, not sRGB, um, except for the base color. Uh, you you. You want your yeah, specular roughness and everything like that on check at sRGB. Um, and it it makes things look better. It makes things look a little, a little bit more correct. Uh, and after I realized that, I, I went back and I've reprocessed all of the, the textures for things that aren't going to be tiled. Um, so it's 16-bit and 32-bit float textures all the way throughout. I know it's overkill, but I just want everything to be proper because uh, I'm weird. Um, these pipes I have to work on still. I'm not liking it because, you know, the original geometry is these are square, but it shaded this. Um, can I do that here? Let me put that on the other monitor real quick. Uh, that's not really working very well. Yeah, but but the, these were originally shaded. Um, but now that we're physically based, um, I think I'm actually just going to remodel this. So because it's it's supposed to look like there's a round pipe in in here, and you can see that with the normal. The normal makes sense, but yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, like I said, I have to fix, uh, this materials, uh, 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 again, um, no, 
else we got? I did. I did. I tiled the grass. I tiled this. So so that's correct. We got stairs as a, a tiled texture. Um, I redid um, this graphic right here. I couldn't upscale it well. I, I didn't like the way any of the upscaling methods that I that I have um, upscaled the original texture for this. So I just made my own version of 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 the goblet and grapes and water pouring out graphic uh, for this. I just made my own version. I simulated the water stuff. I, I just yeah, I made made my own version of that. Um, got the stained glass here. That does work correctly. It does. Trust me. It does. Um, let's actually post process. Yeah, you, you can you can see it. It does. It does work. The stained the stained glass does um, take the correct colors. Um, do I have this set up right? Yeah, let's do absorption. Does that affect this? It does. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I still have some tweaking to do in this water. Maybe I'll use. Let's do it right now. Let's. Let's. We don't need it to be all bubbly and displaced so let's put this on here and then go over here and what's the intensity on here refraction oh that's at one Maybe it's the mesh. No, that's it. It's meshing me up. Yeah, that, that just seems really intense. Eh, I'll fix that later. That's fine. Eh, that, that, yeah, yeah, that looks fine. Uh, did I tile this? No, not yet. I still need to do this one. Yeah, progress is being made on this. It's, uh, it's a lot of work. It's very tiring. <laughs> Let me just do this while I'm here. Where is it? GD Conk. That's the name of the original texture, and I always think it's goddamn concrete. GD conk. Uh, let's just do that. There you go. Now that has the tile texture. It works pretty good. Any other little things I got to do here real quick? Not really. I really like that. I, I kind of want to reuse that texture and not go over it. Uh, but yeah, this this is the update for Strife RTX. I am... I'm tired. I'll see you guys later.